Lexi, thank you. And candidates from state and local races are making a final push for your vote. Front runners in the GOP 1st Congressional District and the Democratic gubernatorial race are campaigning right now. News 2's Riley Benson joins us in the studio. And Riley, these races could have some big implications. Yeah, Carolyn, Nancy Mace and Katie Arrington putting their focus on Beaufort and the Hilton Head area today, hoping to win remaining undecided voters ahead of tomorrow's election. Governor hopeful Joe Cunningham out on the trail today as well, hoping to secure the ticket to run for governor. We're excited. I'm, I'm really pumped about just the response we've been getting now. Joe Cunningham knocking on doors hours before polls are set to open. Charleston County seeing more than 6,000 people voting early. The governor hopeful believes it could push him to victory. Judging on the, you know, the early vote counts on uh, early voting, looks like people are engaged, which is good. Mia McLeod, Cunningham's largest challenge, received the endorsement of Cunningham's ex-wife today. Cunningham offered no reaction, instead focusing on bringing new leadership to the state's top office, currently held by Governor Henry McMaster. He has no ideas. He has, truly has no ideas for his future, and that's what this campaign is about. It's a campaign of new ideas versus no ideas. From the governor's race to the 1st Congressional District, Nancy Mason and Katie Arrington are hitting the trails in Beaufort County, a place that could play heavy on election night. That's where both the Arrington and the Mace campaign believe. Uh, there are enough, perhaps, maybe voters that are on the fence between the two. Political analyst John Bersini encourages voters to get out early. With redistricting this year, he says many might not know who they will vote for as it has changed, which could be another deciding factor. Uh, voters have got to keep in mind this is a different first congressional district than what Mace ran and won in two years ago. Important races like the first and seventh congressional districts up for the grabs. Bersini says the outcome of Trump-backed candidates could provide insight as to what's to come next election cycle. Congressperson Mace does not fare so well tomorrow uh, with the former governor and ambassador's support. What does that make now for Nikki Haley's prospects for 2024? Now, both Mace and Arrington are planning to stop at a number of polling locations across the low country tomorrow. And of course, you can count on us to bring you updates from those campaign stops all day long tomorrow. For now, live in studio, Riley Benson, count on two.